I thank God for allowing me to stand right here in this house. Uh, it's not because I was good. It's only the grace that Jesus has. There is many who can see today or this day. By me and you to be alive today. It's something to be thankful for. Glory be to Jesus. I'm not going to take one. We're going to read the word of God. Open your Bibles. We're going to read in the book of Mark. Mark chapter 13. Verse 1. Mark chapter 13, verse 1. Ariko <laughs> Yesu aramuwa zati Kulikali Yesu aramuwa zati Uraba inyuwa ko Iha, iha bae Ura, Uraba inyuwa ko Iha bae Nihato sika kuwa imu yeri geretwe Kigeretse kuri Nita sapuri we hasi Tatatu Jicha ikumusoto wa ilayono Yere ke kuruse nyero Petero na yako na yohana na Andrea Bara mungu atabi hile ilanye Vati kukile Ikyo mitova ho Yari Kimenye so mitova iki Chiki he Ikyo kyo so mitova Viki ya viki ya Vishike Yesu atangura kwa pilati Mwili hile ni hajile uwa zimita Wele nishwatoza mwiti na janche Vati, iwe, kani na zoti mzabeshi, kani ni muumba inambara ni muuha, zinambara, ni mte pakari kimitima, ni mito mula kumabu, aliku, umuhero utoba, utaraza, unani. Kuko ihanga ni zote ni ihanga. Nuka ame kutote na umundi mkani Isi ito niga niga Heshi Amafa atote na Ito ni itangu ni loo ito kuramu kwa Cheda Aliko mwiyu wale Kuko wato wa shenge la na mumanza Muto Wato wa shenge la na mumanza Muto shina kumuto shina kurikwa Umasina kogi, kani? Mutu hakarala imbelewa chana manza na wami wa mamura. Uwe kimeyezo, kibabela ichawo. Umutuma mginza, mkwie kumanza, mkugwa umahanga yose. Kani, niba wajana, niba wajana, baba shengi, baba shengi lanye, Ni mte muhangari kimiti ma icho muto ufuka Icho muto haa Icho muto haa haa chose Muri akokanya Mute muwe alicho mufuka Kuko atatowa alimuyebe mufuka Atobali muhebu yela Amen 
We will read the book of Mark, chapter 13, starting at verse 1 to 11. And he went out to the temple, one of his disciples saith unto him, Master, see what manner of stones and what buildings are here? And Jesus answered and said unto him, Seest thou these great buildings? Uh, Seest thou these great buildings? There shall not be, there shall not be left one stone upon another. That shall be, that shall not be thrown down. And he sat upon the Mount of Olives, over against the temple. Peter and James and John and Andrew asked him privately, "Tell us, when shall these things be?" And what shall be the sign when all these things shall be fulfilled? And Jesus answering them began to say, Take heed, lest any man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive men. And when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled, for such things must needs to be. But the end shall not be yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be earthquakes in, in, that, in diverse places, and there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginnings of the sorrow. But take heed to yourselves, for they shall deliver you up to councils, and in the synagogues ye shall be beaten, and ye shall be brought before the rulers, and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them. And the gospel must first be published among all nations. 11. But then they shall lead you and deliver you up. Take no thought beforehand while you shall speak. Neither do you premeditate. But whatsoever shall be given you in that hour, that speak ye. For it is not ye that speak, but the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 These are the words that God was telling his disciples. And as he went out of the temple, one of his disciples, and as he went out of the temple, one of his disciples saith unto him, Master, see what manner of stones and what buildings are here. One of his disciples was showing Jesus the, the building of Jerusalem. Look, and look, look at what men are this, uh, look what men are stones and what buildings are here. And Jesus said yes, that to him, answer and give us. And he said, Yes, yes. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Seest thou these great buildings? You see this uh, great building? There shall be not be left one stone upon them. There shall be no stone left upon another if, if it is not all torn down. That is what Jesus told them as they were rejoicing in the building that they had in Jerusalem. And verse 3, as he sat on the Mount of Olives, over against the temple, Peter and James, and John and Andrew asked them privately. Privately. Tell us, when shall these things be? Uh, uh, Peter, James, and Andrew and John 
They asked, uh, they asked Jesus a question privately. They asked him, what shall these things be? Jesus was telling them things that are, are uh, that go at the ending of the world. And telling them how they should treat themselves when they see these things come to pass. Verse 4. Tell us, what shall these things be? What shall be the sign? When all these things shall be fulfilled. What shall be the sign when these things shall be fulfilled? Uh, the disciples of Jesus were asking him a question. So he may give him a sign on the last day. How we will be. Verse 5. Jesus answering them began to say. Jesus answering them began to say. Take heed lest any man deceive you. Jesus began telling his disciples. Take heed lest any man deceive you. This is a word that's being told to us right now. We need to take heed lest any man deceive us. In these last days. Verse 6. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. Many shall come in the name of Jesus Christ, saying that they are Jesus. They will call themselves Christ. And those things have come to pass. Many people um, say that they are prophets of Jesus Christ. And they come saying lies. And they deceive men. We need to take heed. So that we may not uh, so we may not be uh, uh, so we may not be deceived. Glory be to Jesus. Verse 7. And when you shall hear wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled. But uh, for such things must needs to be. When you hear the wars and rumors, uh, do not be troubled. This is what Jesus told his disciples. And today these words are being told to us. When we start hearing rumors and wars, here and there, let us not be troubled in our hearts. Let's know that it's the ending of the world. We need to know that Jesus already has spoken this thing. Because Jesus has said in his, uh, in, uh, in his second coming, there shall be many wars and many nations. And nations shall, shall, uh, shall, shall fight against another nation. And all these things that Jesus has spoken of this scene, one nation you see it attacking another nation. As we hear in Ukraine, it's a nation that invaded Ukraine. It's a, it's a country that invaded another country. Let's know that all these things, all these things show us the coming of Jesus Christ. That's why we need to always be ready and always pray to God. I'll be ready for the second coming of Jesus Christ. Because what Jesus has spoken and has come to And he said there will be many deaths in the world. There will be famine. And we've seen all these things. 
the whole world is in famine right now. People are, are very uh, are suffering. And people are, are, um, are, 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 are accusing one another. My friend is always hating their, uh, their friends. There is no love in the churches. What Jesus has said is coming to pass. That's why we need to always be ready. Always be watchful. Because Jesus said he must come to pass. Because all of these things, the signs of the, the coming of Jesus Christ. Because if Jesus didn't give us these signs, many people wouldn't know anything. Because, because Jesus has told us the signs already. That's why we understand that. That these days for men are the last days. We just need to be ready for Jesus to come and take his church. Our glory be with Jesus, church of God. Verse 8. For nation shall rise against nation. And kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be earthquakes yes. in diverse places. And there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginnings of the sorrow. That's only the beginnings of the sorrow. There shall be many deaths. Nations shall rise against nations. King, kingdoms against kingdoms. Jesus has told us everything. All the things that we keep seeing. We read it in the Bible. What Jesus said, he did not lie. These days that we are in, these are uh, the last times. What Jesus has spoken of, we see. There's nothing that's left. We're just waiting. We're just waiting for the coming of Jesus Christ. Verse 10 says, Verse 9. But take heed. Take heed to yourselves, for they shall deliver you up to counsel. And in the synagogues you shall be beaten. And you shall be brought before rulers and king for my sake for a testimony against them. Amen. 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 They will beat you inside the synagogues. They will deliver you to councils. They will, uh, they will make us suffer because of Jesus' name. But do not be afraid. Because Jesus will be with us. Our glory be to Jesus. Verse 10. And the gospel must be uh, first be published among all nations. Amen. Amen. The gospel has to be spoken in all the world. That's what Jesus has said. It is good to preach the gospel on all nations so people may receive Jesus. People may know Jesus. Those who don't know may understand it. There are many nations that don't know the name of Jesus Christ. It is good for us to spread the gospel because that's what Jesus has said. That the gospel must be spoken in our nation. So people may not have anything to fall back on. And now say, we never heard the, the word of God. But the gospel gets to all nations. And everybody knows Jesus. And everybody comes out of sin and repents. Jesus will then come to take his church. Glory be to Jesus. Verse 11.
Verse 11. But when they shall lead you and deliver you up, and but when they shall lead you and deliver you up, take no thought beforehand what you shall speak. Neither do you uh, meditate, but what, whatsoever shall uh, and whatsoever you give it to that hour, uh, that speak ye. For it is not that ye that uh, it is not you that speak. They speak. But the Holy Ghost. Amen. Whatever you shall want to speak in those times, don't be afraid to speak. Don't be, do not be afraid to speak. Do not be afraid to speak the gospel. Even though you'll be being delivered in counsel, do not be afraid. Because whatever you shall speak, it will not be you that speak. It will be the Holy Spirit speaking. Glory be to Jesus. Because in those times, if you're not with the Holy Spirit, you won't be able to speak. Because it will be a, it will be a hard time. Many people shall be troubled. Those who receive Jesus will be many troubled. They will, be, they will suffer. But do not be afraid. Let us not be afraid. Because Jesus will be with us. The Holy Ghost will be with us. Whatever we shall speak, it will not be us speaking. It will be the Holy Spirit. Glory be to Jesus. Even if you see wars in the church, you will not be afraid and stop the serving God. Continue serving God. Because Jesus already spoken. The devil will be wars in all, in all nations. And even in churches. And many people will hate one another. But when they hate you in the church, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and make you suffer because of Jesus' name, because of speaking God, Jesus, do not be afraid. Continue going forward because Jesus is with you. Glory be to Jesus. I am just an opener. The words that God gave me to share with you today are these. Have I opened some of your eyes? Jesus bless you. Amen. Amen.